Hello boys and girls, welcome to my comprehensive video guide, I suppose, about Hysteria Ruins. Finally, after all of this time, like over a year of people requesting me to grind Hysteria and make a video on it, I'm finally there. So today we will be discussing about Hysteria, I grinded about 15 hours in total here. Uh, four of them on my Mystic about two months ago, so it was quite a while, and the rest about 11 hours on my Guardian. The main bulk of the test is my Guardian grinding, but I'm still going to mention the four hours on Mystic because there is a big difference between them and I would like to show you what happens if you grind on a character that don't necessarily know how to properly rota rotate skills maybe, that is slightly slower and how that compares to a class that not exactly a class, but to someone who can actually get decent trash per hour at Hysteria. So before we get into all of that, I would like to say that once again, today I'm sponsored by MMOTimer.com. At this rate, I might be able to get myself a tent, although I'm too stubborn to buy it. <laughs> and at this, at this rate, I believe I'm never going to buy the tent just because of my stubbornness, but still. Um, let me quickly go through the MMOTimer.com. So this website, if you don't know already, basically it focuses on showing you boss spawn timers whenever they are supposed to spawn in hours and minutes. It works for every server in the game, including the uh, PlayStation and Xbox versions of the game. It has a sound alert uh, option feature if you want to be notified whenever a, a boss is supposed to spawn. I personally, whenever I feel like actually hunting bosses, I very rarely do it. I just leave this tab open on my Chrome browser and that's more or less it. It's going to be the first link in the video description, check it out if you want to. And now let's get back to our topic. So I'm going to start things in order, I actually made a short notepad right here with everything I want to discuss about in order. So first things first, let's talk about gear. More precisely my Mystic and my Guardian's gear. As I said, part of this test is grinded on my Mystic. Uh, this video will probably be 20 minutes or longer because I want to discuss about everything there is to history so that I don't have to return here in the near future again. I just want this video to be everything about Histria, excluding experience rates because I didn't test those. So gear wise, my Mystic had 265 main weapon AP, 267 awakening AP with a dead Kutum, which most people would say is good enough to grind Histria. I, I, I'm pretty sure most people will agree with, agree with that, but as you will see soon enough, um, for me, I didn't really know how to properly rotate my skills. I tried my best at that time two months ago and that's why I kind of dropped the idea of testing history. You know, I went through four hours and I was very unpleased, displeased, you know, with my trash rates and so I didn't want to continue the test. Now, for my Guardian skier, after I rerolled, I lost some AP. I have 261 main weapon AP, 265 awakening AP. The awakening AP is basically the same, with the same bracket, but I have less main weapon AP. My DP did go up, so from 314, nowadays I have 325. Uh, it might be somewhat relevant, monsters here uh, do have a decent amount of damage, although it's actually lower than at Kratuga ruins, for whatever reason they don't hit as hard. Um, from what I noticed, monsters don't have any knockdown or bound skills, they only have stuns, stiffness and I believe that's about it. So you're not going to take that much damage, maybe because there's no down attack multipliers. But still, uh, if you have over 300 DP, you should be fine to grind here. AP wise, I cannot really recommend a proper number. I know people keep asking me to uh, give recommendations. All I'm going to say is that Histria is an area that uh, is very dependent on what class you're playing. Some classes are very good here, others are very bad at Histria, and the AP is about the same. Depending on your class, you will need more or less AP, and obviously the more AP you have, the faster you're going to clear, and the more trash you're going to get. So, as a recommendation, I would say maybe 261 with a Kutum, that's probably considered normal or decent AP for this place. 
Um, that's, yeah, that being said, let's get into the rotations part of this video. So for rotations, I want to properly take my time to actually show you all of them, how to get to the rotations and basically how I grinded those rotations. So I will have a timestamp on the screen if you really want to skip after of the rotations part. It's probably going to be like five minutes because there are three rotations that I ended up grinding throughout my, let's say, 11 hours on my Guardian. And um, out of those, um, I would say all of them are good, but um, I personally these days prefer the third one. So first, let me show you how to get to those rotations. Once you get inside the Histria cave, um, you can press escape and, you know, escape, escape and get immediately teleported to the repair NPC. Or if you know your way throughout the cave, I guess you can find it on your own. But escape, escape is the easiest way to get to the repair NPC. I'm very happy that this place actually has a repair NPC, unlike uh, Kratuka Ruins, because here you can actually stay inside this dungeon and grind as much as you want. You can repair your gear for free, you can sell stuff, you can buy potions. So, um, you know, I grinded my 10 hours on Guardian straight 10 hours uh, over the course of like 5 days. So I didn't leave this place at all. I just logged off and, you know, went to sleep and all of that. So if you... I, I'm just going to say it's very convenient to have a repair NPC. Anyway, from this repair NPC, um, you follow the path shown on screen. It's more or less a straight path. You follow the main road, I suppose and at some point you should reach the main room. Um, I'm going to call the three rotations, the first one, this one, the main rotation, the main room. Then there's the back rotation. Uh, it just names that I give for the sake of this video. They are not official, but you know, there's the back room, which some people combine the main rotation and the back room. Um, I personally, I tried it once and it didn't seem to perform any better than just grinding the back room itself. So that's the first two rotations and how to get to them. And then there's a third rotation, which once again, going from the uh, repair NPC, you follow basically the same path. Um, I hope the, the footage is not going to be too fast forwarded, but um, basically you follow the exact same path and up until you get to this kind of a bridge, uh, you take a left turn, you take another left turn, and uh, basically you try to go one level below. Um, I'm pretty sure the path I chose towards this third rotation uh, is not the most optimal one, because I know there is a shorter way to get there, but I, I don't want to, to return back to history to record again uh, the path to it, so you will just have to follow this one, which is slightly longer. Um, and at some point you should reach this room here, which is supposed to be the third rotation. This one I called the dual room rotation because at some point uh, throughout my testing, uh, I wasn't pleased with the first two rotations and so I found a warrior grinding these two rooms and I basically followed him for like three, three to five minutes until I uh, understood what he is doing and then I tried to replicate that. Um, what I learned after my 10 hours is that, uh, at least on my Guardian, there isn't a single room in this uh, place at least that I've managed to find, that is able to provide me a full rotation. And I always have to combine two different rooms to make a rotation. So to show you the first one, the main room, uh, this is probably going to take a while, again, maybe like two to three minutes, even sped up. Um, the main rotation is the one that I knew before I even started testing this place. And uh, there are different ways to do it. You can do the main room alone, I suppose. There is a small, uh, smaller room behind the, this main rotation, which you can use as well, which I did, and you will see it in this clip. Uh, combining that small room behind the main rotation and the main rotation itself to basically have enough monsters to grind properly. Um, for me personally, after I get a get to a certain threshold in terms of 
if I don't do a lot of mistakes in my skill rotations, I always end up running out of monsters, so I had to combine this back room with the certain you know, the little bit of monsters to make it work properly. Um, as I said, I know there are people who combine this main room with a second rotation that you will see in a second and do it that way. In the end, it's the same thing. You're combining two rooms together to make a proper rotation, but I just didn't do that because it seemed like too much travel time. In the end, I didn't stick to this rotation because uh, my guardian doesn't really have a lot of sustained movement, I have sh small bursts of movement and because of that uh, I found the packs to be too spread out to be able to grind this rotation properly. You will see it in a second when I talk about trash per hour that uh, in this rotation I actually got lower trash than I was expecting. So. For a second rotation, the, the the back rotation, this is the main one that I grinded for most of the test because um, it's uh, one single room in on itself. Uh, I didn't find that many people to grind it, so it was more often than not empty. Uh, maybe because uh, I would say the the servers that I grinded on, uh, most of the time the main rotation was also empty uh, as well as this back rotation, but I just simply chose this one because of convenience. Here is uh, simply one big room, I don't have to run between two different rooms. Uh, the monsters seem to be pretty close to each other and it's just barely enough to allow me to grind properly. Um, on this rotation, if I do go all out and I don't really make mistakes, I do run out of monsters, but typically it's like 5 seconds or 10 seconds at most um, before the next pack spawns. If I grind in a relaxed manner and I don't really try my best to be to do everything perfect, then typically for me this room is fine. As I said, I'm just about uh, clearing it uh, in time. If I, if I get... Uh, on this rotation I'm getting about 4.9 thousand trash per hour at best, if I try to get uh, to grind for 5 thousand trash per hour I run out of monsters. So the most this room can offer me is about 4.9 thousand trash per hour with the 100% loot scroll. So that's that for this second rotation. The third one is the one where I showed it, you know, going all the way from the repair NPC and back to that dual room where I learned the rotation from Warrior. Um, this one is uh, my current favorite rotation. I know in this dungeon there are probably a lot of other rotations that I didn't even get to see, but uh, so far this is what I got to experience. So. Uh, in this dual room rotation, I will say you have a lot of room for growth if I get more AP. On this one I never ran out of monsters just because it basically combines two different rooms and I found it decent enough uh, in terms of transitioning between the rooms because if I used all of my movement skills I'm just about uh, you know, managing to move from the last group on the first room to the first group on the second one. So it's not that big of an issue to transition between the rooms. I can see it being an issue for other classes, but in my case, um, at the best I got on this dual room rotation was my very last session, which was 5.1 thousand trash with the 100% uh, loot scroll. And, um, it's basically the, the, only the only rotation where I see myself having room for growth. As I said, I wasn't running out of monsters. So in terms of that, if I want to return to Histria in the future, I would most likely grind this one because on the second rotation, on the back one, I am more or less capped at 4.9 thousand trash. There are no more monsters for me to grow. The main rotation has too much uh, travel time and I only managed about 4.7 thousand trash on that one and on this one I'm getting the most, about 5.1 at best and I actually have room for growth. So this one is where I will return. And uh, it's also the... I, I didn't really have problems with people grinding this rotation so maybe it's not a very popular 
other one. In any case, I like it and that's more or less it for my long discussion about rotations. If you skipped the entire part with rotations, congratulations. If you didn't, well, at least now you have an understanding of what I did throughout my hours and where I was. If you know other rotations that are better, let me know in the comments. If I did something wrong, let me know in the comments. But um, most likely I'm not going to return to history because I have... I, I, and I basically went through as much as I could and I'm happy with my results. So that being said, I guess let's get into the hours and talk about those. First I'm going to cover the mystic ones because it's only 4 hours, it's a very slow test and I figured um, I should because it, it, in a way it shows you what happens if you decide to go and grind Histria when you have the AP to grind Histria but you don't know your class well enough to rotate the skills properly. Um, some people keep saying that I wrote uh, that I rerolled to flavor of the month classes. Um, one of the main reasons why I rerolled to Guardian is because it reminds me a lot of what I was missing from my wizard. The very slow, uh, not very slow, but you know the slow and relaxed uh, skills, uh, the big AoEs, the stressless uh, grinding. On my Mystic, I have to learn how to rotate skills. They are very fast paced and. Uh, I never was into that. I always liked to just simply use whatever skill felt you know, right at that moment. I didn't want to learn a proper skill rotation. And since rerolling to Guardian, now I'm actually grinding faster because for my playstyle, for the type of person that I am, uh, I like slower classes like Wizard, Witches, Guardians. And um, on Mystic, I did have the AP to grind here properly, but I never got to get enough trash per hour to see myself as being decent. Uh, uh, the first hour was grinded without any loot scrolls because I was just in Bethesda in the place. All of the hours were grinded on the main rotation, so the first one, and um, I believe my average was about 2.3 thousand, let me check really quickly. Yeah, the official trash per hour was 2.2 thousand in total, however the first session didn't have a loot scroll, so I decided to multiply the first session by 1.5 just to have all of the 4 hours be grinded with a 50% loot scroll. So if I do that then my clearing speed would be about 2.4 thousand trash per hour with a loot scroll which is really bad because my guardian gets more than this without any loot scrolls. So um, this is I guess an example of what happens if you don't know how to rotate skills properly. You get uh, below average trash per hours and uh, the money that you will see is uh, not exactly worth it to move away from spots like uh, maybe Blood Wolves or other areas like that. Looking at my Excel file really quickly from those 4 hours, um, as I said 2.4 thousand average trash per hour, I made about 71. I made about 71 millions average with one Tungrad earring drop, which um, in 4 hours, yeah, one Tungrad seems to be about right. Uh, the trash could be better, but even so, 71 millions isn't good enough for me to move away from Blood Wolves. So if I was still mating uh, my Mystic at this point, I would just simply not grind Histria because I'm not ready for it. So that's more or less it in terms of my 4 hours on Mystic. I don't really see them as an official test, that's why I didn't continue with those up to 10 hours. And now let's talk about the Guardian test, which actually turned out pretty well in my opinion. So on Guardian I have a total of 10 hours and 50 minutes grinded, just because one of the sessions was 50 minutes and not one full hour. Um, the first one, the first hour was on the main rotation with 4000 trash, so pretty bad, but then again it was my first hour, I was just simply getting adjusted to the place, I didn't, um, as I said, it, there was a two month gap between my Mystic and my Guardian test, so be, this being the first hour I was getting used to the place. 
The second hour was on the back rotation, so I moved away from the main one because I wasn't pleased with it. And this time I got 4.7 thousand trash, so a lot better. I, I was really pleased with this second rotation. The third hour was uh, on random rotations. This is the 50 minute test because my weapons broke after 50 minutes. Um, this one is once again only 4000 trash because uh, I was mo mostly moving from room to room in the dungeon to try and find different rotations. Like uh, the main one didn't seem to be too good. The back rotation was okay ish, but you know, monster respawn issues here and there. So I was trying to find other rotations I could use and because of that my trash drops to 4000. Fourth hour again I went back to the back rotation because it, it seemed to be the only one I could properly grind. So 4.8 thousand on this one. Fifth hour again the back rotation 4.9 thousand trash so I was getting slightly better. Sixth hour after that we have once again the main rotation. I returned to that to try combining the two rooms as I showed on the rotation part of the video. Combining those two rooms to see if that is good enough to replace the back rotation but it wasn't. I ended up with 4.7 thousand trash. Um, after that, uh, at this point, I got my upgraded compass part. Uh, I guess it's fine to mention it, but you know, it's funny how at this point, uh, I'm not sure if I, I believe I got one Tungrad up to this point, but I got a, uh, an upgraded compass part. I wasn't expecting this. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it because I don't plan to grind for the compass. So I, I guess it's just going to stay in the bank and get forgotten. Um, after this, I managed to find a Kuno with 261 AP uh, on Kutum, so about the same AP that I have, she was on succession. I asked her what her clearing speed was and she said 4.1 thousand trash with a normal loot scroll, which was um, a little bit higher than what I was getting um, and it gave me a reason to question myself, am I really a good class for Histria? Is Guardian really meant to grind Histria? Because so far my best was 4.9 thousand with the 100% loot scroll and that is, I'm not really sure, maybe 200 or 300 less trash, uh, basically a little bit slower than this Kuno. Um, after this we have hour 7 and hours 8, both of them on the back rotation, both of them 4.9 thousand trash because as I said this is more or less the cap in terms of what you can expect from this rotation. Um, after this we have a short break in which I decided, you know what? It's the anniversary, I finally finally gave in and spent some money. Um, you know, I, I really am stubborn about the tents. I, I don't want to buy the tents no matter what, I, I'm just too stubborn about that. So I decided to go for the uh, made empire route. I bought the the, the the pack with four maids. Now Nowadays I have nine storage maids, basically to fix my, my weight limit issues on Guardian. And if I ever reroll in the future, I guess I don't need to buy weight again because I have mates. Um, uh, after this, I it says in my notepad the free tent, but I only used it for storage, and that's more or less true. Um, at, at this point, I had my my tent already. I got it after the first couple of hours in here, but since there is a repair NPC in this dungeon, I never really got to use the tent properly. Um, the storage in it is not really big enough, my inventory space is fine and uh, uh, it's cheaper to repair the armor at the NPC. Um, still, I guess you know, I had a free tent, whatever. Um, in any case, after this we have hours 9 and 10, both of them on that dual room after I met the warrior which showed me that rotation and uh, hour 9 was 5000 trash, hour 10 also 5000 5, trash, a little bit higher but basically 5000 trash and that's uh, more or less where I decided to end my test after the 5 hours. I went to Valencia, I basically you know, placed everything in the bank, I tried to sort it out little by little. Um, one thing, that, one thing that I forgot to do is to sell the trash uh, items, uh, the trash loot to the NPC to put the silver silver value on the screenshots. So if I do later on when I show the Excel file, 
decide to to fit in because it's quite a lot to fit in a little bit of space the screenshots you won't see silver you will just see the trash because i forgot to sell it in time to take the screenshot um, anyway after after these 10 hours i more or less was fine with a test but then again i remembered um, you know now i have a decent understanding of how to rotate skills on guardian it took me like eight hours or so to properly know how to rotate skills I, I, th I think it's decent enough, you know, the way the way I use my skills. You might not see it properly on the video because I don't know what clips I'm going to be using from what sessions, but after these 10 hours I turned back to Histria with the intention to grind another 2-3 to three hours, but um, I grinded one more hour also on this dual room rotation and I got 5.1 thousand trash. This is the best I got so far and and it wasn't that big of a difference from the 5,000. I was expecting like 5.3 to 5.5 thousand trash if I really try. And it wasn't that good. So I, I didn't feel like grinding more than this one hour. I think at this point what uh, I need to get higher clearing speed is probably just simply more AP. Um, I'm not sure if my skill rotation is wrong or whatever, but I, I feel like um, I, I need more AP to increase my clearing speed. Maybe I can pull 5.2 or 5.3 thousand trash if I really try my best, but I don't see the point in that. So I'm happy with my results, I ended the entire test and in the end I got 4 Tungrads in total. After the 11th hour, I basically combined uh, right then the 4th Tungrad, and that's more or less it. Um, let's get now into the Excel file, and I can show you all of the numbers and basically how much money I made. So, quite a long explanation of what happened, I know, but I feel like um, it was worth explaining everything just so you know what I went through and what my grinding was like for Histria. So, uh, I already talked about the, the Mystic, the Mystic 4 hours income, so let's just focus on the Guardian 11 hours. Uh, on Guardian, as I said, all of the sessions were with the 100% loot scroll because I felt like Histria is a good place to use those, I wanted as much money as possible. My average trash per hour was 4.7 thousand after all of the sessions, you can see all of them individual right here. Um, my trash for each individual hour, the last ones were basically 5,000 trash per hour, but my average, because of these two failure of failure runs, it dropped to 4.7 thousand. If I was to use only a 50% loot scroll, I would get around 3.5 thousand trash per hour average. Remember when I said that Kuno was making 4.1 thousand trash per hour with a 50% loot scroll? Yeah, that's the difference between me and the Kuno. She was actually grinding faster with about the same AP and it might be the class, it might be the rotation, might be how I use my skills, I have no idea what is the reason, but I I'm fine with my results. So in this, these 11 hours I got 4 Tungrad earrings, which is basically I guess the most important thing to mention besides the trash. I got 206 scroll pieces, an average of 19 of them per hour with a Kamasil blessing, the arch above and the loot scroll. Um, I decided to split the black magic crystals this time into each individual type instead of combining them just because the precision ones are worth more than the others. Black stones, you get this, a decent amount of them here, uh, I got 36 armor stones average per hour, is this right? I think it's correct. Um, weapon, weapon ones about 8 average per hour, so I guess you get a lot of ar armor black stones here, so that's interesting. Uh, Kafra stones, I didn't really see any. I don't see. I don't think this place actually drops any Kafra stones. Uh, red shards and black shards actually have zero for each of them because I got exactly four red shards and exactly four black shards. So I managed to combine exactly four Tungrad earrings. I didn't get any Tungrad drops. They were all combined from pieces. 
And um, I think that's about it in terms of uh, individual explanations. Uh, my income was about uh, 134 million per hour with the load scroll that I used. And theoretically, the 50% load scroll should give me an income of 116 million per hour. So that's pretty good. I think if I exclude these two slower, slower sessions, I should be getting maybe close to 120 million per hour. So uh, with a normal loot scroll, so that's actually pretty good. You know, it's actually good enough that it's beating, I, I believe, every single spot I tested so far. So, so far, Hysteria seems to be the winner in, in my competition for which spot gives me the most income with my current AP and knowledge of the game. So um, that's about it. Uh, these are the screenshots. So if I, as I said, I will probably, I usually don't put these in the video because there's too much uh, to fit in. Uh, uh, the text becomes too small, but um, this is my screenshot for my four hours grinded on Mystic. These are the two screenshots for my Guardian. If you're interested in overall what I got out of the 11 hours. And now let's get into the closing statements and get this video to an end. So my final thoughts about history is that at first, if you start grinding history for the first time, you will probably get slower clearing speeds like me, maybe 4000 uh, trash per hour with the 100% loot scroll. So without any loot scroll, that's about 2000 trash. Um, after a couple of hours, maybe if you learn, uh, I'm pretty sure rotations uh, are very dependent on what class you're playing. I'm sure some classes perform better in certain rotations than others. Uh, but once you get to understand how your class works and how to pull the monsters properly, if you have above 261 AP with a Kutum, then Histria is definitely more income than other areas like Blood Wolves. Um, I would recommend this place honestly over any other spot if you have the AP. The monsters do have decent damage, but I never found myself in danger of dying. Maybe because my DP is high enough, but um, yeah, that's it. I'm happy with uh, my history results. Will I return here in the future? Um, in my case, no. Maybe, just maybe, because uh, I tend to spend 10 hours per spot, then I move on into the next one just so I can you know, test a different area. So in my case, I have so many areas I want to cover that I don't see myself coming here in the near future. But um, most people, if you have the AP, just grind history. I'm really curious how Akman compares because um, I have a feeling that uh, Guardian is more of a, an Akman class than Histria, so maybe I will make more money there, but I guess only time will tell because at some point I will also test Akman. Maybe after this, maybe after a couple of videos, who knows. Um, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on uh, Histria, what you can pull in uh, you know, trash per hour and what AP you have to get that trash per hour because I'm curious, is my trash per hour decent or am I doing something wrong and I should be making more trash per hour with my class and my AP. Uh, again, I don't know how Guardian is supposed to grind this place. I don't even know if Guardian is supposed to grind Histria instead of Akman. So that's it. Long video. I have no idea how long it is, but it's probably half an hour because I'm talking too much. So I will see you with the next one. Until then, stay happy, keep grinding, keep making money, keep failing, enhancing your gear, and goodbye.